Hello, my name is George Carey and I work for FIA. We are the Bell and Gossett representatives for New England. And what I wanna speak to you about over the next couple of minutes is Bell and Gossett's uh, latest ECM circulator. It's called the EcoCirc 2018. This isn't anything new in terms of their entrance into the ECM market, residential market, but this is their latest and it it's, comes with a lot of uh, product features and benefits. A couple of things that jump out right off the bat is each one of these ECM circulators uh, comes with three modes of operation, a proportional pressure, constant pressure, and constant speed control. And those are pretty standard in the industry, the ECM stand, uh, industry. Uh, and all three are available on both of these models from Bell & Gossett. Just want to point out real quickly is this knob. They have a one-turn knob. And simply using this knob, we can set this particular circulator or this unit right here, either one with their knob, and can set the pump to whatever mode of operation and whatever pump curve or capacity you want for that particular application. And then the only other thing to point out is they have this multicolor LED, and it's on both model numbers. And it helps you set up as well as indicate what the pump is actually doing in terms of settings and, and, and mode of operation. They're, the second model number that they have is referred to as the EcoCirc Plus 2018. And the plus comes with a couple of other features in addition to all the standard settings and capabilities that the standard EcoCirc 2018 comes with. It has a Bluetooth communication capability, so you can communicate with a smartphone by downloading an app. It has the ability to take an external zero to 10 volt input. Um, one of the common applications has become a boiler, condensing boiler operation where the boiler control can send a, an external zero to 10 to a pump and control the speed of the pump based on the firing rate. That's a very common application. This pump has that capability. Uh, can do temperature control. Uh, the, the plus units also have um, e-adapt, auto learn and night setback or night mode feature. And then the last thing that the plus has is this uh, little um, three digit display to talk that displays the actual foot of head that the pump's developing or the flow rate in gallons per minute. And the last piece of information is the watts. How many watts is the pump consuming at that given snapshot? <clears throat> so it's a very reliable, um, Bell & Gross has uh, put a lot into this. It's a very robust design. Um, it offers dry run protection. It's eco-friendly. So it's very energy friendly, both model numbers, particular the, the plus has that e-adapt, which allows the pump to operate as efficiently and consume the least amount of energy when needed. And then the other feature that the plus has is this mode called night mode, where if it senses a, a substantial water temperature drop like night, night setback, it will slow the speed of the pump even further, consuming less energy. They're very simple and easy to install. I know the installed market over here, so all of the flanges are standard to replace our existing residential circulators, whether they be the standard style or even some of their more recent ECM circulators that are out there. And it's a fast and easy setup. Like I said, this one single multi-turn knob can configure the pump for any application that you need. Uh, just a real quick exploded view. Uh, there's a lot of information here, but I just wanted to highlight two things. One, building on that uh, pump protection, that dry run capability. Um, it's built in so that the pump senses if there's a lack of water, it won't allow it to continue to operate. It'll actually shut the pump down to protect it so that it doesn't burn itself out. And the other thing, again, leading to that, or leading back to that robust design, is they have some patented construction uh, features, including uh, ceramic shafts and bearings that really help the, uh, the EcoCirc avoid any type of blocked rotors, which uh, is very important for in terms of the, the longevity of the circulator year after year, every season when it turns back on. Uh, I just want to spend a little bit of time right now just talking about the what, what is the pump capable of, the curves, the performance curves. 
And this slide here where it's referencing is the three modes that are available on every pump. The constant speed, the constant pressure, and the third mode is the proportional pressure. And within each one of these modes are already preset uh, capacity curves. And all you do is pick which curve you think you need for that particular application. So taking that, that single knob, that multi-turn single knob, we're gonna select a particular mode. And then within that mode, what's the capacity? How big of a zone, how small of a zone? And it's as simple as that, that's the extent of it. Just real briefly down here, these curves, what they're referencing is their power consumption curves. So they're just talking about the, the watts that the pump is consuming, depending upon the flow and head of the set of conditions. Over here, just exploded view of the knob itself and talking about the three available operating modes that come with all of these circulators. A constant pressure, proportional pressure, and constant speed. Uh, and they're, they're differentiated by simply moving the knob to anywhere within the one, two, or three curve is gonna, the pump is gonna know it's operating constant pressure. It's gonna follow along any one of these curves right here in this constant pressure mode. Proportional pressure is gonna be used in a, an application where you have multiple zones. They're zoned with zone valves, and those valves can be their two-way electric valves, or they could be a non-electric or thermostatic and radiator valves is sometimes what they're called in the industry. So I have one distribution pump and then multiple uh, valves uh, controlling the individual terminal units or the individual rooms. And as those valves open and close, the pump has the ability to sense that system condition changing and it will change its speed, thus consuming less energy, saving on energy. And they have, again, built in three preset uh, curves, proportional curves. This last mode over here, constant speed, this is, a, this is another very popular application. Uh, what I find of these three that are available on this pump, these are the two that you're gonna find, you're gonna talk to customers about. If they're doing zone valves, you're gonna tell them to operate, them to operate in that proportional pressure mode. If it's zoning with multiple zones and each zone has its own zone pump, then we're gonna do this constant speed. And now we have the ability to pick Roman numeral one, two, or three, which is gonna follow one of these three preset curves. And whenever that zone, whenever that thermostat calls and asks for heat, that circulator is gonna come on and it's gonna operate at that given preset curve to provide the flow and overcome the pressure drop of that zone. These are your two most popular right here, proportional pressure, constant speed. When you're doing multiple zoning with zone pumps, I tell, I get questioned all the time. I tell the guys, if it's a small little baseboard loop or a, a couple of cast iron radius, set it as low as you can, set it to one. If it's a little bigger, you might be up to a level two. Very rarely are you gonna need that high capacity. That's really substantial, provides substantial flow and head. And most zoning with zone pumps does not require substantial uh, capacity. A couple other modes that are available that come with all the pumps. This one right here is the air purge. And it's indicated with these little dots here that are trying to indicate air bubbles. But every pump has this air purge capability. And the, and the thought behind this is this. You could have, as you're commissioning the system, you could have some air bubbles that get trapped in the volute. And that's what it's referred to. The wet end of the pump is the volute. And by simply engaging this mode, this air purge mode, the pump will run. It'll cycle on and off for about three minutes. And it will almost be like kind of self burping, getting the air dislodged out of the volute and out to the air separator in that system. Once you select that mode, once you select that air purge mode, then you move that um, knob to the pressure, constant pressure, the proportional pressure, or the constant speed uh, settings and leave it there. And then what happens is after that three minutes of 
performing that air purge functionality, it will move to normal operating mode. On the um, EcoCirc Plus, it has these two features, uh, night mode, which is highlighted by this button right here, which is a picture of the moon. And then the second option is this e-adapt, which is highlighted right here. And you could take that knob and turn it to e-adapt. This is uh, applicable when you're doing zoning with zone valves and you, and you use this um, EcoCirc Plus model number. It's taking that proportional pressure and just adding another layer of intelligence or algorithms. And the night mode is just another function or feature, I should say, to offer additional energy savings. Uh, this little uh, table of contents right here, it's just trying to explain as you look at the back end of the pump, what am I looking at? So it's talking about the modes, it's talking about the air purge functionality, what that icon stands for, so it explains it. Obviously, the knob itself is highlighted. So this is the knob that we're going to put our hands on and just rotate it around. And then this last one here is the uh, control mode uh, displayed with the LED light. And you'll have multiple colors that will indicate what's going on with that particular pump. Very easy to reference, very easy to set up, like we said. Same um, table of contents, a little expanded. And the reason is it is expanded is it's talking about now the EcoCirc Plus that just has a couple of extra features that you do not see on the standard unit. Lastly, on the uh, EcoCirc Plus, if you do move to that a uh, little more expensive, but a little more featured circulator, you can actually go to the App Store and you can download the app. And the app is called My EcoCirc and you would download it to your, your smartphone. And then you could actually register the pump to your phone. And now you could start monitoring as well as controlling the operation and settings of that pump from your, you know, your smartphone, from the app. These are showing almost like a drop down menu of some of the different uh, capabilities that are available, the different menus that are available. This would probably be the most important one circulator control center. That's where you can get in and actually start to adjust the settings and the operation of that circulator. This is B&G's, like I said, it's their latest version of their residential smart ECM circulator, the EcoCirc 2018. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's priced right. It's, um, it's very robust in its construction, has a lot of onboard features, very easy to set up. If this particular presentation doesn't answer all of your questions, um, certainly don't hesitate to reach out to one of your FIA salesmen or call our one of our inside sales staff uh, to answer any of your questions regarding this circulator. Thank you for your time.